Hi friends. Well, it's been another week, another busy week. I've got a couple recipes that I want to share with y'all. And these are special recipes because these two recipes, I, um, I got together and I used them for a special reason. I've got a grandbaby coming pretty soon, November. And um, the theme of the shower was a fall theme. And y'all see how cute that turned out here in just a little bit after the recipes. And uh, so I made some of the best pumpkin muffins. They were delicious. They were pumpkin crumble muffins. They were easy and, oh man, they were good. And I made some sausage balls. You can't go wrong when you're making sausage balls. And uh, this was just a little bit different than my old fashioned the way I, I've always made sausage balls is I put, this time I put cream cheese in them and they were delicious. Of course, we had some other food too. So y'all stay with me and uh, we'll do those recipes and you'll see how the the food at the shower turned out really good. And I'll show y'all some pictures and show y'all some pictures of not just the food that we served, but show you the, the fall theme that we used that turned out really sweet in case y'all want any ideas on that. If you got a fall baby shower coming up. Um, and you'll be able to see some pictures of my family, my girls, my mother-in-law, my youngest son, who is the daddy of the baby that we're going to be, um, be able to hold here pretty quick, and uh, sister-in-laws and in-laws and just best friends and just it was a really really sweet little baby shower this is her third child she don't know the gender and uh, so that's kind of exciting too but anyways this video is mainly about the two recipes but also to share with y'all a little bit of my life and my family and what goes on day to day just we're just normal family that have you know things like this going on baby showers and you know just all kinds of get-togethers and stuff so i wanted to share a little bit of that with y'all but also i want y'all to stay with me to the end of this video because i've got some things i want to share with y'all that uh that's that's new and i think y'all be excited about it so let's get started on our pumpkin crumble muffins and our wonderful sausage balls. You're going to need one and three-fourths cup of all-purpose flour. Now when I measure my flour, I like to spoon it and then level it. You can also weigh it. It'll be 219 grams of all-purpose flour. I'm going to use my half a teaspoon measuring spoon. I'm going to put in one teaspoon of baking soda. I'm going to put in about probably a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. If you really like cinnamon, you can put two teaspoons of cinnamon. You're going to want one teaspoon of store-bought or homemade pumpkin pie spice. 
Now what I've got homemade is apple pie spice, but it's pretty much the same ingredients. So I'm going to use my apple pie spice. And I'm going to put in one teaspoon. So either your apple pie spice or your pumpkin pie spice will work. This is your pumpkin pie spice. I buy this at the Mennonite store. But it's, it's all pretty much the same. And I have a video showing making my apple pie spice. It's in with my homemade mixes. I'm also going to need to put a half a teaspoon of salt. And that's our dry ingredients. Now we're going to work on what you'd call your wet ingredients. I've got a half a cup of uh, granulated sugar and a half a cup of brown sugar. You can use light brown or you can use dark brown, whichever you prefer. Myself, I really like using the dark brown sugar when it comes to making anything with pumpkin in it. I've got some oil. I've got a half a cup of whatever oil you use to bake with. I'm going to add two eggs. And that should loosen my batter up to where I can, or my sugar up where I can get it stirred up good. Now I've also got one and a half cups of pumpkin puree, whether if it's your own homemade or can or store-bought canned pumpkin puree. One and a half cups equals 340 grams. You don't have to use pumpkin. You could actually also use um, butternut squash, sweet potato, any kind of a of a winter squash would work good in these muffins. Um, the video I done before was a beautiful pumpkin pound cake, and you could do the same with that recipe using different winter squashes with it. one and a half cups I also have a fourth a cup of milk Now we're just going to add our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients. And I know, y'all know how good this smells. <laughs> There's just something about any recipe like this that has your cinnamon and your nutmeg allspice or whatever you have in it it absolutely smells wonderful when you're baking with it now this is going to make 12 pretty good sized muffins or if you want smaller muffins um, it should make about 16 or so 
I don't need any more than that because we're just having a handful of guests at our shower and we're going to have so much food. I'm going to make some more of these and I'm going to freeze them. I'll probably make them about uh, the beginning of November. I'll probably make a double batch and I'll put them in the freezer to have for Thanksgiving when the baby's born. I'll probably take some. Okay, then we're going to make our crumb crumble topping. We got three fourths cup of all purpose flour, a fourth of a cup of granulated sugar, and a fourth of a cup of light or dark brown sugar. And you're just going to work that up together. And I've got six tablespoons of butter that I've got measured out. That will add to it. And that will be our crumble topping. Now, if I have any of this left over, if I don't use all of it, I'll put it in a Ziploc bag and I'll put it in the freezer for the next time that I make muffins. So you just work that butter into your sugar mixture. And it'll start looking like little crumbles of butter and sugar. It's going to make a wonderful topping. If you wanted to, you could put you a little bit of cinnamon in here too. Okay, that's what it looks like when it's all mixed together. And if you want to, you can put this back in the refrigerator and let it chill till you've got everything ready to make your muffins. I got my batter in my muffin tin. It made 12 pretty good sized muffins. And I'm just taking my crumble topping and crumble it up on top and just kind of push it into that batter. That way when it bakes, it'll bake on top of that batter and kind of it'll cling to that batter and it won't be falling all off of your muffin. If you want to, you can chop up some pecans or walnuts and put them on top too. Just make sure you kind of push them down that batter. So I'm going to get these in a 425 oven for five minutes then I'm going to turn it down to 350 and cook it for 15 more minutes or until my muffins are done through and through with the toothpick testing just stick your toothpick in there it comes out clean then your muffins are done so let's get started on the sausage balls now these are easy peasy I've got one and one fourth cups of all purpose flour. Goes my clock. I've got eight ounces of cream cheese. I've got a pound of breakfast sausage and a cup of shredded cheese. And you can use any kind of breakfast sausage you choose if you like it hot and spicy or sagey or whatever. Some people, some people will make these and um, they'll go ahead and freeze them or they'll go ahead and cook them and freeze them ahead. But since I'm going to be cooking these in the morning, when I get to the church house, I've got a, a kitchen there and an oven, I'm going to go ahead and just cook them. That way they're freshly cooked. Then I'll stick little toothpicks in them and put them on my tray. So all I've done was just take my little the smallest 
uh, cookies thing that I've dipper that I've got, and I'm just I spray my, I spray it. Or what we used to do in school because we couldn't use spray like that, we would dip it in warm. We would have a a container with warm water in it, kind of like you're dipping ice cream, and we we just keep dipping that. Um, that works really good. But I'm just going to keep making my little sausage balls. And uh, once I get all this done, and remember, you can double this recipe. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some more parchment paper on top of these. And then put the others on there. And then I'm going to put these in the refrigerator. And all i got to do in the morning is put them in the oven. Take my cookie sheet with me and put them in the oven. Now, if I was doing these for the holidays, I'd probably do it ahead of time and I'd probably freeze them. I don't know if I would cook them and freeze them, but I know that I would make my little sausage balls and, and freeze them. And all you have to do is take them out. You don't need to thaw them out if you freeze them. And just since they cook, at 400 degrees, they bake at 400 degrees. If they're frozen, you just want to cook them the same way. You're just going to, it's just going to take a couple more minutes longer to cook them. But this one recipe will make plenty for our little get together because there's going to be other food and there's just going to be two handful of uh, family members there. It's not a really huge elaborate shower. She wanted just a small simple little family shower and that's, that's what we're doing. This is her, her third child, our sixth grandbaby. And um, the other two, she knew what the gender was. This one she doesn't. So we're not no not knowing the gender. You know, you're not going to be buying a bunch of the little girl stuff, or little boy stuff. It's mainly going to be diapers and wipes and and bigger necessity things. That's what it'll be. So the new grandbaby will be here before you know it. And we're all excited. You know, I never knew the gender of my children because back then, well, up until I think my fourth child, my son, my youngest son, they didn't even really do ultrasounds back then unless it was an absolute necessity thing. to go into the refrigerator to in the morning. No problem. I'm going to go ahead and take this piece that I already have sprayed and I'll use it on my cookie sheet. I'm going to put the lid on this, put it in the refrigerator, and then um, i got some beans cooking over here <laughs> on the stove for Mr. Brown. He went fishing today, but uh, he'll be home later. And uh, I'm going to make some cornbread. Not sure what else for him to eat. But let's see, what have I got to do next? Oh, I'm going to put my my ham, my little ham and cheese sliders together. So since this is a brunch, you got a little bit of breakfast and you got a little bit of lunch. Our muffins are done with just a little bit of glaze. Our sausage balls are cooked and done. And I'm just going to show y'all what's going on here at our shower. I also made apple cider punch and I will have that recipe down in the description box below my video. And the mama to be, she's the first one that gets to fill her plate up and then everybody else will get up and fill their plates too.
So I appreciate y'all hanging out with us today. I hope y'all enjoyed the pictures of the baby shower and how neat it turned out and enjoyed just seeing the kids and, and everything. And, and I'm telling y'all, y'all have tried them muffins. They're delicious. I know y'all was probably seeing this gun above my head. <laughs> That's a very old gun. That was uh, Danny's dad's gun. And if I get the story right, that was the gun that uh, Danny's dad killed his first squirrel with. So it has a lot of meaning to it. But anyways, I hope y'all have enjoyed this video. If y'all are interested in any of the, uh, the leather uh, crafts that my son-in-law and my daughter make, I'll have all that information below. If you're interested in the skillet handle cover with our logo on it, um, I'll have that information down there too. So, but I want to tell y'all right now where y'all can go to get to my website. So if you're ready, get your pen and paper out or rewind this <laughs> until you get it. But it's going to be all lowercase, whippoorwill holler, slash, well, that's not right. Let's back up. It's going to be whippoorwill slash holler slash homestead dot net. So you can go to Google and go to your search bar and type in lowercase whippoorwill slash holler slash homestead.net and it should take you just right to that page that's got my um, my recipes that I have started putting on there and uh, some of the other information too but you can also go below to underneath my video to my description box and all my information will be down there too so I hope to see y'all in a couple days a few days depends on how busy we get but we should be back with you in a, in a few days. We love y'all, and we love sharing with y'all. We love sharing our, our journey in life, our, our home, and things that we do. We love sharing it with you, and we love it when y'all come into our, to our home with us, and you just see it, and just be with us. We always know you're there. God bless everybody. We love you. So this is what I've got for sale. This is a skillet handle cover and it is made out of pure leather. And the front of it has our whippoorwill holler. This is one of the logos we have. This is something that my son-in-law came up with and he done a wonderful job. He done all the, uh, the design for it and I'm really pleased with it. So anybody that uses cast iron like we do, you're gonna love this. It fits right over the handle of your iron skillet and you will not feel the heat from that for sure. This will last you a lifetime. And even he even put where you can, if you want to, you can hang it or whatever you want, however you want to keep it. But these are really nice. I'm really proud of them. And he also has some other things for sale that I'm going to show y'all here in just a minute. So if y'all are interested in the skillet handle covers, just um, I'll put that information out there for you if you want to get a pen and a uh, piece of paper. And I'll also have it below in my description box. And I'll also have this on my website that I have put up. Um, to where y'all can go and, um, and order one of these. It fits over your handles really, really good. It's not going to be loose. It's not going to fall off. But it slips right on there. And it's easy to hold on to. You can get this color or a darker color. So I'm really proud of them. Whippoorwill holler. <laughs> 